what's going on guys so we're back again um, and today we are actually going to be doing a weekly analysis so this is week 21 um, today's date is Sunday 21st of May market opens back up 9 30 p.m. right now London time so GMT market opens back up in the next 30 minutes so I'm going to make this video and I'm going to uh, mark out do my market analysis based on uh, the strategy that I use and also um, shortlist the pairs that I'm looking forward to trading this week. Um, some of them might be removed <coughs> or they might be or there might be some more pairs added um, as the week progresses but just based on how the market was left on Friday when the market closed that's what the analysis is going to be on. Um, so if we just get into it, first pair, we've got AUD, JPY, and also bearing in mind guys that I swing trade, but it's just a market analysis anyways. So I mean, whether you swing trade, scalp, um, intraday, day trade, whatever strategy you guys use, it's all going to be the same in terms of the analysis, but your time frames and your entries um, could be different. Um, but this is just how I analyze the market based on based on my strategy um, so if we yeah as I said if we start off with AUD JPY um, what I like to do I actually try to look for uh, reverse flip zones so I try to look for where you have your standard zones like I don't know let's say you have your standard um, resistance zones which you would draw like a box some people draw lines as well to like the, um, the highest point but if you see an area where price has touched multiple times and hasn't actually broke it so as you can see in this box I've drawn over here this would be your resistance zone right that's what some people do depending on what their strategy is they will sell instantly off of this and obviously you can see it did work because as soon as it touched this area over here it sold as soon as it came back onto this area here it sold came back gave another touch and sold again what I like to do I like to use flip zones so a flip zone would be Resistance turn to support or support turn to resistance. So if I draw my zone like this, it doesn't really matter whether it's pinpoint accurate or not. But what I would do, I would do something like this. Doesn't need to, do need to be too long or anything. Let me get rid of this. Yeah, it doesn't need to be too long or anything. Um, let me just get rid of this as well. But you can clearly see, right? You've got resistance here, right? Turn to support with all of these projecting candles over here. And then it broke below, so it turned back into resistance again. And then from here, we're looking for sales, right? And as you can see, there's a lot of candles. There's how many daily candles are these? These are uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven daily candles. And you can see price hasn't broken above, right? So that just gives confirmation that price doesn't want to break above this area over here. So we're looking for sales. And obviously, you would use that against your your weekly time frames and your daily time frames as well. Um, oh, sorry, your weekly time frames and your monthly time frames um, as well as extra confluence. Um, but straight off of this, as you can see, support. I'm sorry, resistance turned to supports, turned back to resistance, and you can see there was a huge sell-off. Um, so that was obviously this was all the way back in February, but that's an example of a reverse flip zone that I I use um, rather than your standard support and resistance zones. Now for today's markets. Again, we're looking for reverse flip zones as well. So you could actually just draw something all the way over here, right? As you can see, price sold all the way uh, below here. It gave you this breaker structure, but after the breaker structure, it broke the previous highs. Uh, sorry, the previous highs. Yeah, it broke the previous um, the previous highs. Um, in accordance to this structure over here um, so in other words price is just reversing back up now it could reverse all the way back up to to this level over here and give you like a, a nice double top and then come back down but right now we're looking for buys so you always want to follow the market so since we're looking for buys right now um, and you can see another flip zone over here as well actually 
you see another flip zone here where you got resist well yeah so you got you had buys you got resistance sell off broke above came back in broke below came back up and came back down and then back up again so right now we're still looking for buys right and if you look at the last two candles you have this bullish candle with barely any whips and then the next candle as well is a hammer and a hammer candle represents um buys um you know the, the set the, sorry the, the hammer represents strong buys in the market so right now it's a bullish market and seeing as we're just on the daily what we can do is if we go to the weekly what i like to do as soon as i've identified the trend and um, the trend on a daily i go to my weekly and if that weekly candle is the same color as um the direction of my daily so if it's bullish it will be green and if it's bearish it'll be red if it's the same color and the candle itself is still forming um or has formed we can clearly see it's on the weekly it's still a bullish candle or even on a monthly if we see that it's still a bullish candle and still going to that's extra that's another two extra confluence actually so i'm still going to go and buy now just based on the strategy alone um i do have a checklist as well but just based on the strategy alone right what i'm looking for is an impulse which we've had we've had loads of impulses as you can see you've got your lows you've got your um your highs uh you've got your higher lows you've got your high highs you've got a high low higher high higher low um in fact let me see if i can draw this for you guys so you can see so you have your let me put it back there so you have your lows you have your highs you have your high lows you have your highs high low again you have your highs over here you have your higher lows over here and then what price did it created a lower high actually but it still created a higher low so because it created a higher low more time nine let's say nine times out of ten because it created a, a, a higher low you just gotta wait to see what market wants to do because after this higher low it could have actually just uh let me see what price could have done from here actually you could have just done this and then started selling off like this here and then completely reversed back up but if we look at it right now after the higher low what it's done is it's come back to basically break above your last previous high which was lower that high was actually lower than the um, previous high before that so what i believe price is probably going to do right now because you have a bunch of stop losses over here which is probably where people have put their stop losses we are still looking for buyers because of the candlestick formations we've got the reverse flip zones the weekly is bullish the monthly is still bullish um and just based on the strategy alone we've seen a, a load of impulses to the upside and right now i'm still going to look for impulses just be, i'm sorry right now i'm still going to look for buyers just based off of all of that um i don't see any confirmation for any sales so with that being said right now i'm going to mark this this is AUD JPY, and we've already got the first touch on the 38.2 i'm looking for a second touch with uh, another red candle another bearish candle and if it does give me that then i'm going to look for buyers so that's what i've got for AUD JPY right now um so if we get again we'll probably get a um another bearish candle over here oops i believe the wrong tool another bearish candle over here and then we are aiming for the negative 27 that's what i'm looking for for AUD JPY obviously in accordance with the strategy in itself i won't just buy as soon as it hits the negative 27 i'm sorry i won't just buy as soon as it hits the um 61.8 but that's that's that in its in itself so AUD JPY i'm gonna mark it as red and we are shortlisting that one next one was shortlisting um AUD NZD so the Australian dollar against the New Zealand dollar this one right now was in, it was in or still is in a consolidation range um it has the candle friday candle has broken below just a little bit um but not too much so right now i don't want to make any assumptions it could actually give us a nice um swing trading um a, a nice swing trade um just because of where you've got these reverse flip zone you had support support and now it's broken below if i hold on 
that we get rid of this box. So if you see it now, even though it was in consolidation range, it's, it's broken below um, the consolidation box, which you can see here, right? The one I just removed and put back. So it's broken below that, but also you've got this nice flip zone, right? You've had support over here, you've had support over here, you've had support over here. Now it's finally broken below, it's closed below. A candle has actually closed below. So what I'm looking for with this one, um, I would look for a pullback to this zone over here, right? And when I get that pullback over here, it might pull back further. But even if it does that, for example, that's not a problem. There's, the boxes are always an area. It does, it's not something that is 100%. Um, give me a second. So once I get a pullback um, in accordance with the strategy, my fib to measure the next um, the next impulse and my entry is obviously at 61 and I'm aiming for a 1 to 3 uh, to the negative 27 um, and that is this strategy in itself right so for this pair I am just going to wait it out and see what price does um, so I'm not going to mark this down just because it hasn't actually retraced yet. It could continue going down to the um, to the downside before it starts retracing. But because it hasn't got any retracements yet, I'm not going to mark it down. But I will keep an eye on this pair as well. Obviously, as you can see from the previous pair, you had two bullish green candles, and then this is the first retracement candle. So I'm waiting for a second one. So that why that's why that one is marked as a red. Now next pair AUDCHF. This one here, we've got a nice W formation, as you can see over here, right? And price has come back to test the neckline. So right now, what I'm looking for is actually buys, right? But I mean, with the W formations and the M formations, they're mainly they're mainly um, intraday's. I don't really trade intraday's um, tactics or even um, day trading tactics. So I'm going to miss out on this one. Uh, we do have a nice support. We've turned resistant, turned back to support. So this is another clean flip zone, as you can see over here. So right now, what I'm waiting for price to actually do, I want price to either break below, right, with some sort of impulse, a correction, and then we take it further. Or I want to see price break above this level over here, right? And if it breaks above that level, I'm going to see it pull back to that level and then we take it further. So this is what I'm waiting for. That's this zone here. That's what I'm waiting for. All right. And if it does break below, then, you know, we've already got this, this area over here if it breaks below. So we're, we're good in that sense. So that's what I want with this trade over here. Um, there's not much I'm, I can do about this one. So I'm just going to leave it and see what price does over the next over this week um, and yeah I'm just gonna leave this box as it is there's nothing else I can do about it next pair AUD um, what's this AUD CAD okay now this one in itself similar to AUD JPY uh, actually no not AUD JPY similar to AUD um, NZD as you can see consolidation broke below the box just about but it hasn't retraced yet but if you go to uh, AUD CAD right it's done the same thing consolidation broke below the box by a little bit but this one has a retracement candle now with this one retracement candle with the wick is a bit too high because right now even though the candle is closed here i don't know what the next candle is going to do the next candle could look like could look like this for example right all the way up here and if it does that the trade's invalid anyways because number one it just it didn't have a break a clean break below the um outside of the consolidation box but also because this wick in, in itself for the retracement is too high compared to the actual impulse move um another way if you want to look at it you could look at it like i don't know you could look at it like this all right so then the next retracement candle actually might be here next retracement candle might, might actually just be here touching this area over here all right and if it does that then there's a possibility of me getting in but because it's not a clean break outside of the consolidation box and just off of this one retracement candle which i'm not look, liking the look of i'm not actually going to do anything about it now what i want i want to see and i have a feeling price is just going to come back into this box and consolidate again 
of course it's consolidating for me but i mean some other people um, depending on the strategy you're using you could actually get in on the trade within the consolidation box but for me i'm i'm out of it i'm not touching this whatsoever um so the next what i want to see happen next actually i want to see a price to basically break below this area here and get rid of the consolidation box i want to see price break below this box here so that i know it's a clean break and if it doesn't do that then no problem if what i want to see after that then I want to see price break this area here which is obviously the top of the consolidation so it's got two options price either after this candle here price either comes back below retest and then we get in on the break and retest of the 61.8 on the fib to go further down all right or if price decides to consolidate again no problem then what i want to see is a bunch of consolidation in this area obviously you can see it's an option now but i want to see a bunch of consolidation a break above this level over here, a retest, and then we take the swing trading um, strategy and catch it on the upper side. All right, that's what I want to see. So right now, as I said, this pair, not liking the look of it right now. I don't want to do anything with it. I'm just gonna let it run, and I will, I guess, catch it probably next week. It just depends on how. Um, it just yeah it just depends on how the um the market moves really and truly um but yeah next one what i'm looking at for this one consolidating it's not really doing anything you can see it's clearly in the middle of the consolidation box so we're going to skip that one next pair cad jpy now this one has just shot off basically um so right now we've got a nice flip zone again so you've got the resistance which is over here that's resistance zone over here resistance again over here huge sell-offs huge sell-offs and then we've broken above it and now it's retracing now with this retracement this is a good retracement compared to the actual move itself because you can just look at it if the retracement itself the first retracement candle is much smaller than the entire move of of this right the entire move of this is much bigger than the retracement candle much bigger and that's that's a clean one so i mean just extra confluence extra points um so right now still looking for buy straight away right unless market tells me otherwise and if you look at the weekly no problem weekly bullish candle clearly no wicks barely a little to no wicks whatsoever you look on the monthly you can clearly see that candle it's got more weeks at the bottom which means there's a lot of buying pressure so we're still looking for buys so with this one i'm gonna mark it um i would usually wait for for two retracement candles because right now anything could happen the next candle could close green and and you know the trade is invalid but i've good i have a good feeling about this one so i'm gonna mark this one and fingers crossed it plays out obviously i'll show you guys the, the results as well if it does but an extra confluence again, we've had that, we've got this flip zone over here, but then remember, we always want to wait for two touches to the 38.2. And as you can see over here, the 38.2 lines up with the support and resistance um, flip zone that I've just marked out. So that's extra confluence as well. Boom. So next pair, CHF JPY. This one is testing me because I don't know if it's, okay, we've got buys. This one is solely buys. So what happened with this one actually, I had, a, I had a flip zone here, resistance, break above, buys, didn't really want to get in for buys basically, because you can clearly see it's still coming back down, broke below, so we're thinking, okay, sells, and then what happens, it breaks above again, and when it breaks above, it breaks above this, this uh, structure over here, which is your, this would have been your, um, what's that, your high, 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 uh, high low, this would have been your lower high basically um so it's broken above your lower high so right now it's wanting to come and test this area over here which is your uh what do you call it your resistance zone but right now if price decides right now i don't i don't know what price is going to do i can never predict it so right now it's either i'm going to sell off because we're at a resistance zone right or what price could do could actually break above and then come back down to retest and then 
still go up because we're still looking for for buyers. If you look at it on the if you look at it on the weekly, you can you can see we're still looking for buyers. That's a bullish candle, all right. And if you look on the monthly, this is a bullish candle. But on the monthly, the candle hasn't closed above the area, and the weekly the candle hasn't closed above the area either. So right now it's either or. We've got two options. So I just wanna let this one play out. I'm gonna leave the box over here. I'm not gonna mark it out. So right now it's like a resistance zone. So we're just gonna see and wait and see what happens. If it does decide to come back down, I want to see price break. Um, so the higher high, uh, higher low, your lower high, this is your lower low. Uh, so I wanna see price break this area over here, right? If it decides to come back down. If it decides to come back down over here, past this area here, I want to see a retest to this area, which is another flip zone, as you can see over here. Resistance, tends to support, back to support. And then obviously, because it's broken below, you can turn into resistance. And then from here, huge sell-offs. So right now, either or. Yeah. So not marking that one either. Um, next one. Had CHF. Had CHF um, with this one. We are actually looking for buyers. You've got, as you can see, this zone here. Um, yeah, as you can see, this zone here. Just based on the strategy, I'm still looking for buyers. You've got huge hammers over here. Prices within the box um, and has actually broken above um, your lower high basically. So, structure is reversing, um, and right now we just want to see, wait and see actually what, what's happening. Um, I would still get in for a buy just based on the fact that the strategy is playing out. You've broken um, the lower high, has been broken above to the upside. You've now got your flip zones as well, so support. Support resistance back to support. Uh, I mark, let me mark it out. So support, support, back to resistance, back to support. Right, and then again, it's broken above your your lower high. So right now with this one, I want to see price basically give me another candle to this area over here, and then we take it off. All the way up there to catch the negative 27 or price can actually just come back down this way and touch this zone here and it was a complete fake out and we're still looking for sales and the only reason why I would say it's probably a complete fake out because you can see for some time let me say around let's say around here for some time price has actually just been going down consistently for the last 300 days it's been going down so almost almost coming coming up to yeah coming up to a year price has consistently just been decreasing um so it's more than likely and you don't want to predict this but it's more than likely it will probably be a fake out and come back down but you just want to wait and see what price actually does so this one i'm definitely not going to mark because it's not as strong as all the other ones i've, I've marked out uh so we ignore that one this one here Euro GBP, uh, we're still looking for sales actually, uh, as you can see, it's given us, last week it gave us the, last week it gave us the um, confirmation to get in um, for sales, which was here, right, and we took it, but you still got the flip zone, you still got su um, support, turn to support, turn to resistance, um, and from here, we've got two options. Um, right now, price is actually just at this level over here, and it's not doing anything. So right now, EBA, and I, so basically, actually, right now it's consolidating, right? So I'm not going to do anything with it. I want to see price break above EBA, the top or the bottom of this consolidation box. That's what I want to see price do. So with this pair right now, I'm not doing anything with it whatsoever. Consolidating, so we'll move on. Next pair, 
Next pair is the same. This is the Euro AUD. It's consolidating as well. I'm gonna, yeah, this is this is pants. So I'm gonna X this one out as well. I wanna see price either break below this area over here. I wanna see price break below the box or above the box, either or. Um, so this one I'm skipping as well. Uh, this one is probably, Euro pad is probably the only one here out of the Euro pairs that is clean. And I will show you why in a second. Cool, so you've got your flip zones over here, right? Support, supports, a bunch of support over here. Support here again, breaks below. Now you've got your first retracement candle. So looking for sales, right? And if you look on the weekly, price has actually broken below the, the area. So we're still looking for sales on a monthly. That monthly candle was much bigger than the previous monthly candle, which was a bullish candle. So right now I would actually continuously still look for sales. And this in itself is actually, yeah, I'm gonna mark this one out. So what I believe price is gonna do, it's gonna give us another candle up here, right? Fingers crossed. And well, yeah, another green candle to, to the box. If it's a red candle going up to the box, then I am getting out. Or I just won't even enter because it doesn't fit the strategy. But another green candle to the box, right? So it would have been a bunch of support turned to resistance. Um, and then from here, a huge sell off to the negative 27 or your nearest um, support zone around these areas over here, which is the, this would be the 1.445 areas. And then from there, you just go again the next week and see what happens. But for now, Europe had complete sales, right? Next pair. I had these marked up because I actually entered these trades last week. But next pair, same thing. Euro NZD sells, straight sells, same thing. You can clearly see it's the same as the Euro CAD pair, straight sells. And that monthly candle right now is completely bearish, has a lot of momentum. So right now we are actually at a support zone. Unfortunately, as you can see here. That support zone let me get rid of this box but right now we're at support zone so what i actually want to see price do right now i want to see price over the next two days or so come below here give me a retracement candle probably by wednesday thursday and then from thursday to friday fingers crossed we can catch some profits this way right so that's what i want to see with this pair as of now but right now as i said we're at support zone so there's nothing i can do right now um so yeah, we're just gonna have to wait out, wait and see what's gonna happen. So, yep, next pair, Euro USD. And by the way, I trade all pairs because of the swing trade. So it just makes things a bit more easier in terms of capitalizing and catching um, the exact moves. So, where are we? Next one, yeah, Euro USD. Here, we've got another flip zone over here actually. So this is cool. So with this one, same as the the Euro pad, Euro pad. Gonna wait for another retracement candle going this way. All right from here, we're gonna hit, hit a huge sell off. If for any reason price decides to come up above this area. You know it, we potentially could be looking for for buys um but right now just because of what i've seen on the euro pairs i believe it's actually just going to be sales um if you go on a weekly you can see it's still sells um yeah but right now it still sells and we're closing below and we're closing below on the monthly as well but we just have to play it by ear really and truly um it's not a problem if it closes above the, the box um, if it does close above the box then you know we just adjust the trade and we go for sells um, sorry buys instead it's not a problem next one euro pad flip zones again so support turn to resistance turn to su support well the new the next um, area would be support of course so basically our fib would be from the bottom of here to wherever the retracement um, the impulse stops Let's just, let's just say here for, for the time being, 
if it's from here, so the cable retracement back to the 38.2. And as you can see, the 38.2 lines up with their box as well, the, um, the reverse flip zone. And then from there, from here, we take that. So once we get the touch, the two touches to the 38.2 line, we actually enter. Let me draw this again. We enter at the six, the break and retest is 61.8. As you can see from what I just did here, we're going to four hours, which we can. Yeah. So we can hit the break and retest of 61.8 over here, and we take that to the negative 27 zone. So that's why I'm looking for um, Euros, uh, Euro um, check. Is it check corner? Yeah, it is. Um, so Euro C Z K, so that's what I'm looking for for that one. Um, I am actually not going to mark it because it hasn't got any retracement candles, and if it could happen, so I'm just going to leave it for now. Um, Euro J P Y right now for this one. Looking for buys. Um, yeah, looking for buys. Price, as you can see on the monthly, even though the candle's red, the the bottom half of the candle is more bullish than anything last week's candle finished bullish as well so the dailies and you can clearly see you've got your flips on here Res resistance turned to some sort of support back no um yeah so resistance turned to some sort of support um so you've got resistance turned to some sort of um support back to resistance and now it's coming back to some sort of um support as well so this one has got one retracement candle so what i'm going to do as you can see here, get another retracement candle to this area over here, and then we take it all the way to the negative 27 with the strategy in mind, of course. So with this one, I'm gonna hit the red button and I'm gonna mark it as that. This one, you will see a HF um, with this one, probably like all the other consolidation pairs that I've seen so far, uh, I definitely won't even enter this one there's nothing to do with this there. there's nothing for this one probably still looking for sales um in this case but right now there's nothing it's just about broke out the box anything could happen it could actually just bounce back into the box and do a whole bunch of consolidation again and it could last weeks it could last days but right now i'm not looking for anything so right now yeah just leave it as it is if structure forms then yes i will look to do something about it but right now nope we leave it as it is next pair um the euro norwegian chrome um with this pair you got flip zones as well so resistance support broke below back to resistance and we are breaking back above so right now we are and i know for a fact on the weekly yep we finished bullish on the weekly you can see with this candle uh, monthly same thing um bar candle so this one and again if you look at it actually you've actually got your w formation straight away so it would have been boom 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 and this is your w so you're hitting the neckline over here to take off all the way above or just at this area over here right so delete this zone right now it's got one retracement candles and that's what we like so let's fingers crossed and hope we get a two um so i'm marking this one as red as well Euro sec, same thing. This is the same pair basically as the Euro Euro knock. So this pair where we are you can clearly see it's the same move as well. So we're knocking this one. We are tagging this one as well actually. Um, and as you can see on the weekly we finished bullish and the monthly we finished bullish as well. Um, you could look at this and say it's a bunch of consolidation, but I'm still seeing reverse flip zones being broken and used as support and resistance so i am taking this as a buy permitted that it gives us the move for the strategy uh, with this one here gbp nzd probably looking for sales yep so weekly finished bullish i'm um, sorry bearish the monthly is bearish as well um on a monthly this pair you could clearly see there's a bunch of consolidation on the monthly but it's actually still giving us moves um for entries on the dailies so right now you've got your resistance turn to support turn to support 
turn to resistance back to support back to resistance right now what i want to see right now we are actually at a support level right so what i have a feeling i have a feeling that what's going to happen is you've got your impulse this would have been your correction all the way up to this area here and a sell off right but then again anything could happen because right now it could actually just do this and come back to this area right here and then we have to start looking for buys so again we just play it by ear if as i said right now we're at a support level so i want to see price tag back into this area over here and if it does that then i will take it for a sell and if it breaks above this box over here then i guess i'm looking for buys again but for now uh actually i'm gonna mark it as red even though this retracement candle was fairly small it's still a retracement candle so yeah and actually no hold on sorry as i'm as i'm speaking as i'm speaking the market's actually just opened um so this is the start of the retracement candle so that's that's good news um so yeah we wait for two retracement candles and then we see what happens but for now i'm marking it as red um, this one, this is probably the same as all the other consolidation candles that I've been talking about. Um, so right now, we can see it's broken below the box, but we are at a resistance zone. There we go. Right now, we are at a resistance zone. So I want to see price either break below this small zone, or if it doesn't, price is clearly just going to go back up and play inside the consolidation area over here. So. As I said, I'm looking for a break below over here, an impulse and a correction somewhere either up to here, up to this small box over here, or maybe even here. It doesn't have to go all the way, but that's what I'm looking for with this print. Um, so for now, I'm just going to leave it as it is. There's nothing I can do about this print. Um, as you can see, actually, in the consolidation box, it actually gave us our... It actually gave us um, our move you can clearly see here we've got the break on this candle over here the retest was all the way over here and it took us what well, the retest was on a wednesday and it hit tp on thursday so that took us 20 hours basically and it hit tp so it does work inside a consolidation box um but yeah that's it. that's if the setup is is, is clean um, sometimes it actually you don't get clean setups with inside the con within the consolidation box, but that's that's that. Um, next pair, GJ, GJ is the next pair. So with this one consolidating again, as you can clearly see, I'm not seeing a sort of structure here. Well, yeah, there is it's consolidating, but I'm not seeing any sort of swing trading move as of now. So right now, I even want to see price break above the box or below the box. Um, it's either or and with that being said after a consolidation once price breaks out of the box the very first instant price breaks outside of the box I want to see structure being broken so I want to see price break above create a high and then create a lower high um, a lower low and then I want to see that high being broken and then that is a clean setup as well if price breaks out of the consolidation box but gives you that retracement candle based on this strategy there is a possibility that that retracement is actually a fake out so that's why it's better to wait for a break out of the consolidation box for that um for the for the candles to create a high a new high or a new low depending if you're buying or selling and then that high also being broken to confirm the direction of the trend that would be the cleanest one sometimes you don't always get the cleanest one and you just have to take the risk otherwise you'd be waiting here forever but it's totally up to you but that's just keep that in mind as well so moving on um gcad so gbp the pound against the canadian dollar um this one is it is i mean you can see there's a with these candles here there's a bunch of consolidation but it did break up below and it's actually a flip zone as well. So I've moved this over here, resistance, resistance, support, support. 
consolidating so it's still within structure and then broke below and then it seems as though we've got some sort of resistance going up as well now first retrace, retracement candle i'm looking for another retracement candle to the box as long as it doesn't break above the box so looking for something here oops ah oh, come on so i'm looking for something around here let's take it back down if it does something like this i'm out i'm still looking i'm right now if that's the case then i'm going to be looking for buys so then i'll look for price to come back into the box area to, to go back up and i'll probably get out around this area over here just because that will create a double top basically um and a double top would obviously look like this here um so yeah with this one i'm hoping that it gives us that move so right now i am going to mark that as red um and then the next pair is what's this uh the pound against the swiss franc or swiss franc however you want to say it consolidating it's not doing anything um as you can see as it gets to the bottom of the box or the top of the box it just reverses the opposite direction so right now you do have a flip zone within the consolidation um, area, which is here, right? Resistance, resistance tends to support. So it's possible that price actually might break above the consolidation box. Um, but you don't want to predict that because as much as you have those flip zones, it's it could actually just completely obliterate it and go in the opposite direction so with this one i'm not doing anything about it I, as i said i want to see price break above the box create a high right so create structure again create a, um, a low and then i want to see that high that that new high that you created i want to see that get broken so that i can come back for the retracement and get that move and then we're still going up basically one thing you don't want to do is as soon as price gets out of the box, you want to wait for the tracement and you want to suddenly just get in, right? Which you could do, and sometimes it does work, right? But if you do that, I'm afraid what's going to happen is, boom, this is what's going to happen. But then you would have got in around here. Let's just say a one to three. I don't know. Yeah, let's just say a one to three around here. So this would have been your entry point here. Where the retracement is and then what would have happened you would have been up in profit thinking yeah you've got this and then what happened boom you got stopped out so that's why you want to wait for um structure to come back into play again after consolidation phase um but next pair um gbp aud gbp aud um yep i'm not doing anything with this pair it's either it breaks below this this flip zone here, or it breaks breaks um go, goes back up and creates structure. So this one I'm leaving. I'm not doing anything about it. Um, we do have some index pairs as well. So we've got the German forty. Um, this one here is actually creating a nice flip zone resistance, resistance, resistance. It's broken above, so I'm looking for some sort of retracement back, and I will do the same thing. So right now I'm not doing anything about it. Um, and as as you can see it's actually got a nice flip zone as well um resistance resistance tends to support so right now it's retracing um let's hope it market's just basically just open back up now so let's just hope um it actually does that retracement nicely and if it does i'm still looking for buys um just based on how the market looks really and if, if you go back to the weekly as well you can see that nas actually finished um bullish and the monthly nice also well it hasn't finished yet because we've still got 10 days left um but it's finishing the, the last week has finished bullish so that's the momentum we still go with um this pair i took a trade last week and actually won some so that's why it's still marked but as you can see here we've still got some flip zones um yep so right now we are looking or hoping Price to basically come back down to the 38.2 which is where this flip zone is as well and if it does that then it's a nice trade also and NZD JPY actually finished bullish as you can clearly see above the box monthly we still got 10 days as I said but it's still bullish so we're still looking for buys for this one 
Um, we just got to wait for the retracement. So I'm not going to mark this one down as of yet. Um, this pair, what is this pair? NZD USD. This pair, you've got your resistance, resistance, turn to support, back to resistance. Um, this would have been a clean um, sell off, but it was choppy. So right now, what I want to see price do is, yeah, it's a crazy one. Uh, what I want to see, I want to see price either break this support zone here, right? Or if it looks closer to this resistance zone, I want to see price break above this level over here, at least break above the box. And if it breaks above the box, hopefully it breaks above this level over here. And if it does that, then we look for another flip zone, which is technically around this area over here. And then we look for buys. But right now, there's nothing else to do about it. Um, I would probably say it's even consolidating. Um, let me get rid of this. Yeah, I would say it's consolidating. So right now, I'm just going to leave it as it is, just based on my strategy. Um, nothing to do with it. So we move on. Um, this pair, same thing, really and truly. Uh, support turned to resistance, back to support, back to resistance. Right now, you've got two options either price breaks above literally this small area over here, right? And if it does that, then a new high is created. Um, so then we'll start looking for buys, or if it doesn't do that, right now, it's got because you've got this wick, um, or re reverse hammer or upside down hammer, however you want to call it, it's potential, um, it, what could happen, it could act, right now, as the market's open, it could actually just come back down this way. And if it does come back down this way, I want to see that candle close below this area over here, right? And create that retracement. Let me draw the stone here. And create that retracement. And if it does create that retracement, no problem, we get in and we get in for sales. Um, so that's that NZD CAD right now. Yeah, it seems like all the NZD pairs are consolidating. Um, right now I had this consolidation phase. It did break above, but now that I think of it, it's consolidating all here, as you can see, right? It's not going anywhere. So this pair, again, we're not doing anything with it. Um, it hasn't given us a clean clean structure now we've got s p 500 west spx 500 now this is a prime example as to what i was saying when you break above the consolidation box so right now it's retracing i want to see retracement here and then i want to see a break above there if it breaks above there then we come back and get that um flip zone and then we take it to the upside for the buyers right but right now it's, con it's reversing, um, so we just wait and see what happens because, again, it could actually just come back in and start bouncing around inside this box over here. So we leave that as it is. Um, next pair. Next pair, US 30. Um, so with the US 30, this is a prime example, you see. It broke below with this candle and what the price do it came back this way and you could still sell off but then what happened after the sell off it broke below again and it came back in so right now it's still bouncing around it hasn't made up its mind um so right now what i would do i would actually look at this there we go i would draw this box over here this is a support zone so technically speaking i want to see price actually break below this box over here Come back into this area and we get the sell offs, right? Or I want to see price break above either this area. As I said, you can get in um, within the consolidation phases, totally up to you, but it's a bit riskier. So I want to see a break above this area over here, right? And if it breaks above this area, then we'll go for buys. Or we could wait a break above the consolidation box over here, come back in. And we either enter from here or we wait for another break above the net new high that is created, and then we enter from here and then we go off to the upside. Um, to the upside. We've got two options here. So this one again, we're still just waiting for it to play out and see what happens. Um, this is oil, uh, and yeah, this was a pain in the ass last week. Gave us the entry confirmations, but it didn't want to play out. So right now, I would say you, fella, are consolidating. 
um, yeah, I would say it's consolidating. So right now, it's either it breaks above the top of this fib, and then I know to start looking for buyers, or it breaks below this low. Um, I said sorry. So either it breaks above the consolidation box and I start looking for buyers, or it breaks below the consolidation box and I start looking for sales. But for right now, you are consolidating and you do not want to move. Um, so yeah, we ignore that. Get rid of all of this. Yeah, so we ignore that. Then we next pair USD Zar. This was a nice. Unfortunately, yeah, this was a nice, nice one. It gave us nice confirmation as well. Um, the move is still happening. Um, I don't pull trades over the weekends, just because of swap fees and um, commissions and all of that. That it could just ruin a complete trade um, and profits as well. Um, but yeah, as you can see, a bunch of consolidation. The finalists gave us that move, and we got in. So right now, that consolidation box is useless. Um, what we could do is actually, we could just say there's a resistance zone here because there isn't a flip zone around here yet. So when there isn't a flip zone, you just create yourself a resistance zone and wait for price to do its thing. If either price decides to break above, then you've got your flip zone because it was resistance turned to support and then we can start looking for buyers or if price decides to drop back down, then at least you know you've got this zone over here, and this will be another flip zone. And then you can say, okay, price came back down this way, broke below the support, or your old support came back to the um to the support, create a resistance zone, so your resistance um your reverse flip zones, and sell off. So we've got two options here. All right, so I'm just gonna leave it like that. So, next pair is the next pair, similar thing, um, but this one we've actually got support turned to resistance, turned to support, back to resistance, back to support. So right now, it's retracing. Um, we've already got one retracement candle, which is good, so we're looking for a second retracement candle, right? So we're looking for a second retracement candle and then back up to the 38 points here. So that's all we are looking for, is this one. Um, so I'm actually gonna mark this one as red because we've got one retracement candle and setup still looks good. Um, same thing as this pair over here, USD, C and H, one retracement candle. Um, it looks like it wants to come back down as well and you've got your resistant resistance. Um, resistance again turns to support, so it looks like it's coming down to that support or resistance flip zone area. So next one, actually no, I'm gonna mark this one as red actually as well, yeah. So next one, USD JPY. Um, same thing kind of actually. Um, so if you see before, let me do this. If you see before here, right, you would have seen, okay, resistance zone, resistance zone, there's not really a flip zone around here, right? But if I get rid of that, you can clearly see, okay, price is broken above that resistance zone. Now it's created some sort of flip zone right and depending on how you drawn it you could make it larger obviously um, just for this sake and right now what you could do is boom here now 38.2 is still within the, with that um, flip zone price will come back to it come much further down and then we take it off back to the 38.2 and if that's the case then you know that's that's a good trade so right now USDJPY I'm going to mark it down there as red as well um, next pair consolidating um, USDCHF consolidation box broke above it's retracing back into it there's a possibility it could create the perfect setup and we go for buys or you could actually just wait for another break above this area over here for a safer confirmation totally up to you how you want to take the um, trade but for now me I'm going to mark it down as red as well um, just in case um, with this pair over here, you've got your flip zone as well. USD knock is the same as 
um, USD JPY actually. So it's the same, it's the same exact setup. And you can see on the weekly, still looking for buys. Um, even though you got your some sort of resistance zone over here, we're still looking for buys. Um, and I mean, price. If you look at USD not price actually has broken above the last in March twenty to so second of March in twenty twenty. Price came to 1.39813 and that's where it closed, right? But in September the 1st, 2022, price actually closed below, um, above that. So there is a possibility that price actually closes above this as well. Um, even though in 2020, price went all the way up to 12. Um, so yeah, there, there's always a possibility. So even though we do have that res um, resistance zones to the left, to the far left, there's still a possibility of further buys as well. So never never hesitate with that um so right now i would actually mark this down as a red as well that's what we're looking at um usd cad usd cad consolidation as you can see a bunch of consolidation which is not good so either we break wait for the break below this area on um, the consolidation box or, or above and we go from there but right now there's nothing for that pair so i'm going to leave it um this pair usd um, Polish Zloty, this pair, this is a good one as well actually, so similar to USDCH, um, USDCHF, yes, similar to USDCHF, consolidating, um, and break, break above, um, so with this new green candle that's forming now, hopefully it closes red, and if it does close red, then the setup is clear um again there's a possibility because it hasn't actually broken above it's just come at a consolidation phase but because it hasn't broken above this high there's a possibility that price could actually even though it will give us the setup the there's a possibility price could come back give us some a bit of profit and then completely plummet right there's a possibility for that so next per usd mxn so the mexican peso right you know it flips on here um support Attempt to resistance back to support. So with this one, and again, if you look at it, you got your W formation as well. So from here, 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 the awkward W, but you've got it. So to the next line. So we're probably still looking for buys for this one. Um, and if you look at the weekly, definitely close bullish again, as you can see. Um, and the monthly, I mean, the monthly hasn't finished itself, but you can clearly see that the monthly candle is the bottom half of it is bullish um, with a load of width. It. So with this one, um, not marking it out, just going to leave it for now because there's nothing to it. Um, this pair, USD Hungarian Forint, same as USD KLN, um, broken above the consolidation, it's got the retracement, uh, there's a possibility it could completely retrace to these areas over here, right, as you can see where um, the dotted lines are, and that would be the neckline basically, and we could hit off from there. Um, but for right now, I would actually mark it as red, just in case. Um, and yeah, next pair. Next pair, USD DDK or USD DKK. Um, this one is actually the same as which pair is it? It's the same as one of the Euro pairs. I think it's Euro Sec. No, it's not. Is it you or not? I don't remember. It's it's the same. It's got it's got um a similar um comparison to another pair. I find it. Maybe I haven't done it yet. Is it not set? Nah, I don't know where it is, but yeah, it's fine. Um, oh, there it is. There it is. It's right underneath. As you can see, these pairs are basically the same. So. What I will do with USD DKK, uh, it's broken above this area over here, consolidated a bit, broken, broke out of that consolidation box. And this is actually the perfect setup because look, broke above, let me get rid of this box, broke above the consolidation box, retraced. And then what did I say? As a break, as when you get that break above the consolidation box, you should always wait for a further break above that high that it created. And that further high was over here. So this is a perfect one. So right now, what we're going to be waiting for is 
for bias to base Google Trace and give us that setup that we like, um, which is obviously from the 38.2 a second retracement as well. So this one is in my books. I am definitely chasing this one. Um, and the same for this pair as well, actually. Uh, I will mark this already straight away. Don't need to analyze it. This pair, USD, Singapore dollar, um, similar setup actually um consolidating over here broke broke above with this this candle here i know that for a fact came back and this was the high it created and then broke above that this is the new high and if you look at it from a different perspective you've actually got a huge w formation if you look at it huge w formations and this is the neckline here this where this box is so really and truly it could tap here it could tap here it could tap here anywhere within the box or even come further down but as long as it's within structure. So right now, this is good. Um, and what I'm gonna do, I'm actually gonna mark it down as well because we've already got one retracement candle, so that's good. Um, USD, I don't know, this one is Noxec, so Norwegian Krone against the um, Swedish Krona. Uh, I'm not doing anything with this one. You can clearly see it's consolidating. And as we do with consolidation, we wait for the break or above, um, wait for the break or above or below. Um, silver. Uh, silver now Now silver has just been difficult as well um, Literally you can see consolidating break below and this was the new high or the new low is great basically So right now what I actually want to wait for let me see what candle color this is. This is green This this is not a clean setup at all. So right now what I want to see is I uh, Let me see it here, here. Right, let me draw this zone here. I want to see a break below the zone. If the price break breaks below the zone, let me get rid of this zone here. If the price breaks below the zone, I know I'm still looking for sales, but if price decides to go back up, what I want to see, I want to see price break literally just this small area over here. And if it does that, then we are sweet because that's a neckline. So if it breaks above this area over here, okay, cool, it goes over here. This will be your flip zone. This will actually be a reverse flip zone over here as well. And then we take it further up. And if we do take it up, we take it to where we've got the double tops. It would have created a triple top. And that is where we get out. Um, just because there's a possibility that because it created a triple top, it could completely just plummet. Um, but again, we just play it by ear and see what happens. Um, so with this one, I'm not really doing anything with it. Don't really like the look of it. Um, next pair which is obviously gold gold kind of correlates with silver but it's yeah silver is a bit slower and the candle formations aren't as great as well um, so if we are looking at gold clearly see consolidating break below the consolidation box and it's retracing into the retracement box so with this one I possibly could take the risk I'm gonna mark it down as red I want to take the risk um, there's a possibility I could get stopped out but this is a clean setup and I know how gold moves gold moves viciously it has a lot of momentum um, so I mean if I look at the weekly I mean it did yeah if you look at the weekly you've got a bunch of wicks to the to the upper levels of the candles here 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 so it seems as though price wants to come back down actually and if you go to the monthly, you can see it's coming back down. It wants to come back down. And again, I'm on a monthly now. And this is the reason why it's actually decided to come back down. You've got a whole resistance zone over here. You've got the first one, the first touch, the second touch, which is your double top now. Now you've got a third one, which is your triple top. So there's a possibility it could actually just not break above this level over here. And I don't think in the whole of history, yep, it hasn't. Let me get rid of this. In the whole of history, it has not exceeded what top was the highest level. It has not exceeded past to 20, 2075, basically. Um, I know there's a way I can get it. Yeah, it hasn't exceeded the whole of 2075. Um, so, just a sec. Yeah, it hasn't exceeded the whole of 2075, so I know for a fact, okay, cool, it's going to come down to some something at some point. It doesn't have to come all the way down, but it's going to come down. It's, it is going to come down. So that's why I'm going to take the risk and 
trade for a sell. Um, I don't see buys at all. Um, I mean, yeah, it has broken. And if you look at it over here, even though it's broken below that box as well, it has actually broken this structure here with a bunch of wicks to the bottom half of these areas here. All right. So I'm still looking to sell. Um, I'm going to wait for a second retracement candle and we go from there. Hopefully it doesn't break structure. With this one, uh, DXY, the dollar index, this is the same as like USD, JPY and all of those pairs. We have literally a bunch of consolidations over here. Break above the consolidation box. Um, so let me show you. A bunch of consolidations over here. Right. Break above the consolidation box. This would have been your new high. And then break above that high. And then just come back down this way. So right now, your flip zone is here. Uh, just imagine it. Your flip zone is here. Right. And I will get in. And if not, I'm just waiting for another retracement candle. And if I get that, that second retracement candle and it is red, I'm going to get it again for a buy to the upside. And that's what we like to see. But that's your DXY. Um, I'm actually going to mark that as red. And your USD Hong Kong dollar. This pair is a weird pair. It is just constantly selling. Um, so right now, I think I'm in a good position to actually sell. It's retracing to this area over here. Right. And it never exceeds the 7 point, um, 785 level. It never exceeds that. And it has never done that in the whole of history. Um, so right now, what I'm looking for, retracement. Literally, I just want this is retracing now, so it's going to, the first one should touch the first 38.2, and the next one should come to the 50 level, which is obviously where this box is. And from there, we completely sell off. Um, so, fingers crossed, that's what that one is. Let me just leave that there actually. Um, so, yeah, I mean, that is my analysis as a whole. Um, again, swing trading, I trade all of these pairs. And it just makes it easier for me to kind of spot um, the pairs that move for the week um, rather than sitting on, I don't know, five different pairs. And imagine if they all decide to just consolidate, then I mean, you've got no pairs whatsoever to, to trade. That's why I trade all pairs um, and shortlist them just based on certain requirements, as I've said in the video. So, I mean, that's, that's the analysis for this week. Uh, again, this is week 21 of, of the calendar year, and we I will show you the results at the end of the market week, actually. Um, so, yeah, wish me luck, guys, and happy trading.